The paddocks have returned to green on this farm in regional New South Wales, where Jeff Henderson looks after 550 Angus breeding cows. Recent rain broke four years of drought. But the multi-billion dollar cattle industry is now in the middle of an escalating trade dispute between Australia and China, putting thousands of jobs at risk. This rain has certainly uh, improved things considerably. People are able to plant crops, people look to the future, and we don't need any potential uh, hiccups like this uh, to sort of put the brakes on that. China has suspended beef imports from four of Australia's major abattoirs, but it's being seen by some analysts as China using trade to punish Australia for pushing for a global inquiry into the origins of COVID-19. Off the back of droughts and floods and fires, what we need in rural and regional Australia at the moment is investment and certainty. And where there is uncertainty in markets like China, that is not a good thing for farmers. As well as disrupting the cattle industry, China is also threatening to impose tariffs of up to 80% on Australian barley imports. Some farmers have stopped sowing due to the uncertainty. Beijing followed through with that threat on Monday, effectively putting an end to Australia's barley trade with China, ripping hundreds of millions of dollars from the industry. China is no longer a rising power, it's a risen power. And what we know of superpowers is that they use their wealth uh, to try and influence other countries to do their bidding. Uh, and I think we will see China doing more of that in the future. Relations between the two nations have been under strain well before COVID-19 over allegations of Chinese interference in Australian politics. But China is Australia's biggest trade partner. The question is how to strike a balance between business and standing up to one of the world's biggest economies. Nicola Gage, Al Jazeera, in the town of Crookwell.